I've been joking this morning on social media. Doesn't everybody wear a ball gown to do an interview with some authors? Well, of course, when it's these two that you see on the screen, Josh and Brent are joining us right now. You follow them along. Um, Beekman1802. I can't brag enough about them. Um, but before we jump into that, The Precious Little Snowflake is an amazing book. And if you're looking for something unique and something different, uh, this is it. And it's something you can build on a family tradition for years and years to come. But before we talk about the book, first of all, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, gentlemen. Same to you. Same to you. And thanks for putting on your twinkle twinkle today. You look beautiful. Thank you. You know, that Twinkle Twinkle is your whole theme this year uh, for the holidays. And if folks maybe know you from the 24-hour marathon, we know that this year, like everything else, it's a lot different. But you guys have brought a little Twinkle Twinkle to everybody's lives every single evening. Let's talk about that first. That's right. You know, our whole company is built on kindness. We say we're clinically kind. Um, And this year, um, you know, when COVID was just, you know, heating up in early spring, We're like, you know what, this holiday season, we just need to do things that put a smile on people's face, that make them feel better about themselves and better about the world. And so we said, you know what, we're just going to bring an extra twinkle. So it couldn't just be one twinkle. It had to be twinkle, twinkle for the holiday season. And yeah, every year we, um, for about the last um, eight years, we've done a 24 hour marathon where we live stream for 24 hours straight from Sharon Springs, from our mercantile or from our warehouse. And this year, because of COVID, we weren't able to have all of our teammates and our guests and our neighbors all around us in the studio. So we decided to do instead of 24 hours, we're doing one hour every night. And what that's done is it spread the twinkle across the month. So it did just made people happy every single night. And well, you know, I don't know if it makes people happy or not. Well, it does. Makes they us might not happy. always like every night. Makes but us there's happy. Some, there's as you know, Susan, there's something for everybody. There is. And and the guests that you've had on and the different things that you guys have done and the the help that you're giving to some great nonprofits as well just really spreads the love and the twinkle. That's right. Yeah, we've had um, we're giving away a charity donation to charity on behalf of all Beekman neighbors, which your your listeners know we call all of our customers customers neighbors. So every night um, we give a donation to different charities, and we've had some amazing charities this year. That's right. And the very best one was that we wrote a blank check to our local food pantry <laughs> to cover their entire <laughs> operating budget for the entire year. And obviously, we know that very few people can do that. But everybody can contribute to their local food pantry. Um, So please do if you're in the position where you can contribute. Um, And if you're someone who you need to be on the receiving end right now um, of your local food pantry, do it. That's why it's there. Don't feel any hesitation or any, um, you know, pride in going to accept the help. Your neighbors want to help you. It is an amazing thing that food pantries do. And just that sharing of extra love, not only at the holidays, but beyond. Yeah, exactly. So speaking of sharing the love, this book is the most amazing book that you guys have written. And you are authors. Oh, look, we're matching. You guys are authors of many different books, cookbooks and different things. But there is something about The Precious Little Snowflake that just, I think, adds extra love to the holiday season. Yeah. And when we first came up with the idea of The the Precious Little Snowflake, we wanted to figure out how we could raise the next generation of Beekman neighbors because so much of the messaging um, to children these days is very commercial um, and that's fine. Businesses have to stay in business. We understand that. Um, And we just wanted to communicate a message about the the importance of neighbors and the importance of community. Um, And so what the story uh, tells is first, there's a little science lesson because you learn how a snowflake actually is formed. Um, And then that snowflake decides that if he works together with all the other snowflakes that are floating around in the universe, that when they fall down to earth, they can make the world more beautiful if they work together. And And I think that's an especially important lesson in in 2020. You know, when when dealing with something like a global pandemic, global, I mean, there is nothing, no more definition of, you know, having to work together as a a human race. Um, This has been the time when we're like, you know what, what personal sacrifices can I make to make the world a better place for the the common good. And and we wanna show that it's not necessarily a sacrifice to work together. In fact, working together makes things more beautiful. And when we wrote the book, you know, we always um, believe that, you know, the best children's books are books that have lessons for both 
children of all ages and for adults. So like, you know, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein or The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. These are books that anyone can pick up at any point in their life and see the lesson. And that lesson may change depending on the stage of life you're in. And that's really what we wanted to accomplish with the Snowflake book. And what makes it extra special is that um, we release a new edition every single year. We only print up 1,802 copies because Beekman 1802. So every year there are only 1,802 copies. And every year a new artist gets to interpret the words of the story. Um, and so it makes it special. I know you already have four copies. I think you have every copy that we've mm -hmm. done so far. Yep, uh, I do. Yeah, and that's this makes it special. So it's, it, it can become a tradition collecting the different, you know, the different artists. What I love, Brent, about the book too is the fact that the size of it. I'm going to try to hold it up so people kind of get an idea of of how big it is. There, you do it much better than I do. <laughs> it's to me, it's like that library book. You know, as a child, when you would sit down or you'd sit at grandma and grandpa's, and they would pull out a book to read it to you. They can do that whole turning the book sideways and sharing. And and this year's artist, let's talk about the artist because it's beautiful, beautiful work. Yeah, her name is gorgeous. Clarissa Cosi. Um, and she's a very young artist, very, very new in her career. And I just fell in love with her artwork. And you're right. It just, it, it's a complete experience. So the kids love the fact that you get the little hint of the snowflake through the opening of the I book. Did, I, didn't you always love those books that had little openings or little, oh, yeah. snip, like little added things. Yep. And this year there's something really special added. There is because, you know, we, you know, we know kids have their favorite books and then they want to read it over and over again. So in the pivotal moment of the story, when, when all the snowflakes come to work together, when they're joining together. So there's this two page spread in the book and there, it comes with this sheet of stickers of all these different little snowflakes in all nationalities. Yep. And every time you read through the book, the person you're reading it to gets to find the sticker and put it through. So if you read the book the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, it really does make the book really interactive and really underscores that lesson of, you know what, we have to work together. We're better because of the people in our community. It, uh, the learning lesson that, that kids and adults will get from this hopefully is something that they can take into 2021. What did you ever, I guess, expect this book to be as popular and demanding as it is? I know that I myself sent you guys a message saying, when's the book come out? Yeah. Because it's mm -hmm. such an important part of our holiday traditions now. That's right. Well, we didn't uh, plan for that. We we hoped for it and we hope it continues to grow. You know, my goal is um, that by year 10, we can have an animated special of the Snowflake story that then becomes part of everyone's tradition, just like Charlie Brown, just like Rudolph the Reindeer. You know, because you know, I always think yeah. big, Susan. And oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's always been, you know, from day one of starting our company, which has now grown to be, you know, you know, luck, knock wood, you know, a very successful large company, and and our motto has never changed since day one: work hard, never quit, help your neighbor. And we see um, the precious little snowflake as the perfect expression of what it means to help your neighbor and how and what we can all accomplish together. We can never ever lose sight of that. We, it's it's more important now than ever. So one final question, what is your favorite part of the book? Oh, my favorite part of the book is when, you know, this one little snowflake rallies everyone around um, him or her and um, says, hey, we can do this. And the other snowflakes are like, oh, no, I'm scared or we've never done this before. Uh, but they all come together. And then at the end of the book, you see the end result of working together, which means the whole world yeah. is glistening. I think that the new snow, and, and, and that's my favorite part too. Because at first, everyone's like a little bit like, "Oh my gosh, can we do this? Can we do this?" Um, because we all know that when 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 times get tough, sometimes the tendency is to turn inward and and push everyone else away, or you don't want to ask for help if you need the help, right. or you you feel apprehensive about talking to your neighbor because you think they may reject you in some way. But if we just get over that that hesitation, then people are willing to help. That's the thing that people always forget. There are more helpers in the world than not helpers. And, and you just have to reach out and look for them. My understanding, you're going to read this live tonight. That's right. On tonight's episode of the 12 years of Christmas, our marathon, we'll be reading the story live. We read it live annually. 
Um, and so tonight, beginning at 6 p.m. Eastern on Facebook, be uh, at Beekman1802 Boys on Facebook. I know, but normally we read it to all of our, our community colleagues kids, and yeah. the kids in the community. And now, you know, because of COVID, we can't. So we especially need people to watch tonight with their kids and, and leave little comments so, uh, so we can get feedback. So, Susan, you go back to your like six or seven year old self yeah. <laughs> and you leave the comments. OK, I will do that. Right. Thank you so much. Again, get the website too, because I want folks to check out all the amazing things that you do in supporting artisans all across the country. So you can find um, all of our products at Beekman1802.com. And if you want to follow along tonight, you can follow along at Beekman1802boys on Facebook or Beekman1802boys on YouTube. And you can get autographed copies of the Snowflake book right now at Beekman1802.com. All right. Continue to spread all that extra twinkle twinkle. We will. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Susan. Always Bye, great Susan. to see you.